What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, in this one I'm going to be sure I'm going to make the interior for your remake Waffle House. I almost just switched the W and the R in saying that, that would have been embarrassing. Anyway, here it is, um, I don't really know what to say, you know, it's a, uh, it's a thing. Uh, it's fairly small, fairly simple, but, uh, I guess it's good, I don't know, that's debatable. <laughs> But anyway, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you'll be needing for, the, for this is, well, you don't need any space. All you need is your Waffle House from probably yesterday, I don't really know. You do need some materials, though, and the ones you need to start out are spruce planks, black concrete, stone bricks, lycra concrete, Birch doors, oh god. Stone stairs, smooth quartz blocks, and smooth quartz slabs. And, um, it's an interesting one. I'm gonna say polished basalt. So, you wanna come inside your waffle house, and I would recommend perhaps night vision, depending on. If you're in bedrock, you don't need night vision, but if you're in Java, you might. I don't know how the slab thing works. Well, there is a lot of windows anyway. But you want to under each black stained glass pane or black stone wall, or just I guess where this gap is for the doorway, you want to break this like little trim and replace it with oh, black concrete. I guess if you destroy anything else, it, you can just leave it. It doesn't matter. Because we're going to have to um make the middle of spruce anyway. Or we're just doing another windows. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. Uh, it feels like Monday, but it's Tuesday. That's about all I have to say. Now, uh, I guess sticking with the floor trend, you wanna- Everything else that's inside of that, you wanna- I guess the rest of the floor. You wanna break your grass floor and replace it with spruce planks. I'm just gonna do this with a slash fill command. Take the first coordinate, slash fill, til tilde, 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 which is the current one, then that coordinate, and then spruce planks. Which, the, the thing to copy is in creator somewhere. I don't know where specifically, but I just know it's in creator. And then just fill in anything else. I will need to, um... Do this. I probably could have done that in a better way, but it's fine. So yeah, there you go. We're gonna start by marking out the bathrooms, because the bathroom... Bathrooms kind of are important for the measuring. You wanna start from the back right-hand corner of your entire inside and from this you want to count left by three and going forward you want to place three stone bricks birch door should be on the left half of that block three stone bricks birch door again on the left half four stone bricks and then you want to connect right and when you hit the black concrete you'll just go back one with a stone brick and then the row in front of it should be black concrete which you can just place this thing. Actually, I'm gonna break the whole row black concrete, because why not? Now, if you take this corner stone brick here, you wanna count back by two from it, and if you're highlighting this stone brick, you'll count left by four, and here you'll place a smooth quartz block. Behind that smooth quartz block, you can just connect it all the way to the back with stone bricks. I was gonna say stone brick blocks, but no. We don't really need to bring it all the way up, but I'm gonna tell you to bring the smooth quartz block all the way up. It's technically should be, I think, one, one shorter than that, if you really want to care. But I don't care, so... You can bring each of your stone bricks now up with three rows of light gray concrete. Now, the birch doors, specifically, you're going to want to, on top of each one, place a sideways polished basalt and then a light gray concrete, like that. Fairly simple. I'm, I'm telling you, this is a really, really short interior. Which is nice for a change, you know? Oh, I should probably do this wall. That would be smart. Just like that. So, you want to take the black concrete, the like left one, this one here, and you want to just bring this back row of black concrete right around. 
Let me give myself night vision, actually. Only because there's black concrete here, and I can't see it myself, really. That didn't make a difference, whatever. It, it's a row there. You want to take that row of smooth quartz, and if it ha is touching the dark oak slabs for you, you'll take the second block from the top, that's this one, and extend it left and right with upside down smooth quartz slabs. Should be three to the right and four to the left, like so. And that kind of gives you a, a little bit of a lopsided cross, or T, or something like that. From the bottom smooth quartz block, that's this one, you want to bring it forward with four upside down stone stairs that face right. Smooth quartz block, I, what, hold on. Yeah, smooth quartz block, four upside down stone stairs, smooth quartz block, and then you'll go left with three upside down stone stairs, that those should face forward. This corner smooth course block you'll bring again all the way up, which I guess you could technically make it too shorter than that one. And then this uh, one lonesome smooth course block here, you'll just place a slab on top of. Uh, you can clear your inventory. And I'm just going to try to get out block at quartz and sea lanterns because we might as well get the ceiling out of the way. Let me make sure... That isn't weird, though. It's not cool. I don't know if I made it weird. So, where the mangrove planks are at the front here, essentially, upward, diagonally, inward, you want block of quartz. And the lights are basically two rows off the front and one row off either side from this very front section. And they are, each sea lantern is two blocks apart, so it'll be, I guess, after you place two rows at the front, it'll be block of quartz, sea lantern, two quartz, sea lantern, two quartz, sea lantern, two quartz, sea lantern, quartz. And it's just that pattern. If you've made any interior of mine, it's, well, I guess any recenter, recenter, sure. And any fairly recent interior tutorial of mine that isn't something weird, uh, you'll recognize this light pattern. And then when you hit the, like, smooth quartz slabs, you're gonna stop. Which are these smooth quartz slabs there. Um... I don't really have anything huge to say here. It's... Yeah. I don't, I don't have anything to say. Like, there's, there's nothing. Kind of... Kind of lame. I know, but... Okay, there you go. That's where you should end. And then, in each of the, like, kind of back hallway portions, it's... Hold on, I have an image of it, I swear. It's one row off the front, and it's one off either side, and then it's the same thing. Except the left one is going to have one by two lights, which is fine, and you'll just have three of them. Like that. And the right one is the other way. And then, well, this will be up against the dark oak, I should also mention that. In the bathrooms, it's just one light in the center. Like... Oh, okay. Wait, l let's divide this first. Uh, it's the middle, where you have the three stone bricks between the doors, it's just divided in the middle of that. So each bathroom is a three by five or five by three or however you want to say it. Kind of forgot to do that wall. I was like, I feel like I I'm missing a wall. But, and yeah, I was missing a wall. Can confirm. So you can just, it's just stone brick like again, just for clarification on that. Nothing crazy. I feel like we should start with the bathrooms, because they're kind of dumb. So, clear inventory, and we're going to get out the materials for the bathroom. Some of these we're going to need again for the kitchen, but I am probably going to get rid of them again. Just, well, we'll see. You want to get out smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stair, birch trap door, Lever, cauldron, composter, oak trapdoor. Now we'll get materials for the kitchen. Stone and I'm gonna say block of coal. No, sorry, cobble deep set, not block of coal. I thought I used block of coal, but I forgot I changed it. Inside either bathroom, so. If you enter the door, you want to be looking at the, the three-block wall that's furthest from you, which 
in the back bathroom, it'll be the back wall. In the front, it'll be the front wall. And you want to pretend like it's the back wall regardless. In that back center, place a smooth quartz block. And bring it towards you with an upside down smooth quartz stair. On top of that stair, place a birch trap door. And on top of the original smooth quartz block, you'll place another smooth quartz block with a lever off the left. Again, looking at the door, if you look straight across, you'll place a cauldron here with a lever above it powered on. And then the corner closest to the door, which is this one here, you'll place a composter with an oak trap door on top. That's your bathroom layout. Maybe it's mirrored, maybe it isn't, but that's what they both should look like, roughly. I'll do the other one quickly. Again, it's literally the same design I always use, unless I, for some reason, decide to do like a, a bigger bathroom, but generally it's just a one person like this. Or what I, what I would hope is one person. In this little hallway we have here, the back center, you can just place a cold, or, sorry, composter with an oak trap door on top. Moving into the kitchen, we will have to come back here for the signs, but that's a problem for later. In, inside the kitchen, from the back right, you want to go forward from this corner and place three stone, two smooth quartz blocks, stone, three cobble deep set in the stone, and that'll end on, the, on that smooth quartz block row. Uh, you can bring either smooth quartz block up with an additional smooth quartz block, but we can't do anything else from there. Back left corner, behind the door, it'll be a composter with an oak trap door on top. And then if you skip across the door, this first block is a smooth course block. Then moving forward from that, it's stone, two cauldrons, stone, two, actually two stone, one cauldron, two stone, and then these two blocks here kind of in this divot are cobble deep set again. Above the singular cauldron, you'll place a lever powered on and... On the right side, I guess, of this singular smooth quartz block, you'll place a birch trap door and open it up against it. That's a little dishwasher. Uh, I added this in very late. Because <laughs> I was like, I, I didn't think about it. And I was like, you know what? They need a dishwasher. Um, I think that's everything. This area, I did leave kind of blank. In front of this. Yeah. Clear inventory and get out. Stone stairs, lava buckets, iron trap doors, birch doors? Yes, birch doors. Um, why am I blanking? Stone brick stairs. And I guess we can get out the sign stuff. So, dark oak signs. And you will need glowing sacks and white dyes, specifically two of each of these three, actually. Come back to the back, and where you have these three stone at the uh, back, essentially straight across from that spruce door, actually, you'll place a stone brick stair on the middle one that faces right. On the r left face, I guess, of the this 2x2 two two smooth quartz blocks, you'll just place some birch doors. And for each of the couple deep set, it is the, the same thing. You want to place... Iron trap doors on top of each one, and then on top of the iron trap doors, you'll place stone stairs. On the one with two, it's just normal. On the one with three, the front one will face forward, the back one will face backward, which will give you this little curve thing, and then the middle one faces left. Just like that. It's kind of the hood. Okay, I was just looking at something. Inside of each of the, the two cauldrons here at the back, you can place lava buckets. These are just deep fryers. Uh, why do I... Like, oh, I actually cleared them, so I don't have buckets, but. Where you have the polished basalt above the birch doors into the bathroom, you just place a dark oak sign on each. I'd go down a line, oopsie, it's not like that. Go down a line and type men on one and women on the other in all caps, and then right click or left trigger click if you're a controller with glowing sack and white dye. I wish you could still use bone meal, because bone meal is better, but... Nevertheless, there you have that. Let's do the, the seating because, yeah. Clear inventory once more and get out red nether brick stairs. Get out nether brick. Is it nether brick? Yes, nether brick fence. And then white carpet. First off, where you have these four stone stairs, I guess the two sections of four stone stairs on this counter area. You'll take the first and third stone stair and place a red nether brick stair to the right of it like that. And that's just like a little, almost like a bar. I guess it is a bar by technicality. 
but I don't know. And the back right here of this main room, where you have this uh, stone brick light gray wall, which is the bathroom wall, this um, very corner you want to place a red nether brick stair in. Bring it forward with a nether brick fence, stair facing back, stair facing forward, fence, stair facing back, stair facing forward, fence, stair facing back, stair facing forward, fence, stair facing back. And then you can place white carpet on top of each another brick fence, just like that. These are singles, you don't want to extend these at all out, because I know normally you do. There's one more single table on the left wall, it's not the first black stone wall thingy, but the second one. You'll place a red nether brick stair right of it that faces forward, and then another brick fence in front, and then a stair in front facing back. Uh, with again a white carpet on top. In the front left hand corner, you want to place a red nether brick stair facing right. Unfortunately, it clings to that pane, there's not really much you can do there. And then you want to go right with two fence, stair facing left. Stair facing right, two fence, and then stair facing left. This one you will copy back one more time, and then you'll place your white carpet on top of your nether brick fence. Oopsies. And, um, yeah. Once you've done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Waffle House remake interior complete. How do I fly? There we go. Thank you guys for watching this video, and hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.